Hello and welcome to the workbench. As you may have seen on my previous video, I got this Echo HC210 or 210E. It's a 21.2 cc, I believe, two stroke. I believe it's 21.2 cc's. It's got a missing pull start and a missing cowl as can be seen. I do have the air filter cover for it. I just have this hooked up as a temporary thing so I started with the drill because the throttle control lever has broken off so I just I pull on the whole cable just to check it out it does this carburetor has got three lines or three connections one at the bottom where the fuel goes into this is just a connection union because this pipe is thinner and it will not fit over the other so I have to use this little adapter because of this grommet, it's also not the official grommet in any case, that's why there's two screws here because the official one only has two holes and it has an externally mounted primer that should mount over here with one line going to this connection on the carburetor at the top and the other line working as return it's quite a, an unusual design to have just a, a singular uh, connected primer, external primer here and then that the return goes through here and back so in any case a primer bubble should not be on top of this, this is how it looks how it is even though it does look strange so I've repaired the wiring as there were some broken connections I've added some new wires, I've improved the connection with the module because it's electronic ignition with an external module over here there it is, it does work, I do have spark this is a cable this would go to the stop switch, the stop switch is currently on the handle and as such I just removed it so if I want to stop it just touch it on the metal over here, here, wherever and it stops so I've just put some two stroke mix in it and I'll get the drill, should be ready to go just to see if, and test it out. You may need a little extra tuning as it's not quite 100% yet. Obviously you should tune it with the air filter cover on. It's just a little bit easier because the last time I had a quick test the throttle cable came off. So it's just to see if it runs, if it stays working, if we can cut a little bit with it, if the coil seems to work obviously I can't fully test it so after I don't know how after 10 minutes the coil may or may not die who knows that so all the parts I will put up for sale as parts are not working so people can understand that it's not really been fully tested well it's missing a handle it's missing the pull start it's missing the cover can't really perform a full full proper test with it. Oh, so as they say, the throttle control here, the handle is broken off, and this cable is is a bit stiff. It's uh, also breaking up a bit, so that's why it's all hanging out like this. Any case, let's see if it wants to cooperate. I'll bring a small screwdriver in case it reacts to adjustment or not. Let's go outside. I forgot to say this model according to what I found was introduced in 1983 and I think it ran until 1990 or 1991. In any case this model is bang on a 1983 model so it's the first year of production. How do I know that? Well, the, the, well, I don't know for sure, but inside here there's a circle and inside it says 83. So you would presume that is the year of manufacture. So I forgot to mention I can carry it underneath the fuel tank. That's strong enough. And we are ready to go. So we'll go directly off of the flywheel nut. It's a size 13. Bosch electric drill has done this before 
and I will balance the throttle cable with holding it and then we'll see if we can cut something. Okay, there's no switch, so nothing to turn on. Choke is on. According to the fins, it turns this way. Okay, have to pull on the throttle cable. Okay, well that was promising. Ah, dear, I've lost the nut. Anybody see where the nut went? There it is. I'll go and find the nut.